Maybe you can take your temperature open under your tongue. Good, close. What is it? 99.3. Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday. Um, I am home with Kanan. He woke up last night with, well, he's had an on and pretty much an on and off fever um, this weekend since Saturday. We went to a carnival and whenever we got home, he felt really hot at night and then he ended up with a fever. So I've just been rotating Tylenol and Motrin. And at like 3 in the morning, he woke up with um, a 101.5 fever. So I had to stay up with him and do just like a cold rag on his forehead. Get him lots of water and um, make sure I stayed on top of his medicine. And he still had a um, 99.3 this morning. So I went ahead and kept him from school. I was already taking the morning off of work because I was going to go shadow an office um, that I was really interested in possibly switching to in the future. I'm sorry, my allergies are killing me as always. Um, and that didn't end up working out. So I thought about maybe just taking off the rest of the afternoon and going in the afternoon. But then I talked to Kanan's dad and um, his computer wasn't working for him to work from home and he had a really important meeting and so he asked since I already took off the morning if I could just take off the last few hours of the afternoon yeah mommy purple is oof oof so I um, have to reschedule my shadowing I let my office manager know I took off the rest of the day and I try to get him to eat some breakfast he won't so now I'm just cleaning up all the stuff that I got out um, that I was going to take with to the office. Um, and I guess I'm just gonna chill with him the rest of the day. So I had my light charging for my glasses. Um, you have to be really careful not to overcharge these, especially the wireless ones. So let me put that back in its pouch. With the charger. That whole mudroom area is an absolute mess. But we're gonna ignore it. I'm gonna try to finish my water before I make another coffee because I kind of have a headache since I didn't get the best sleep. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'll help you. Kanan is playing Roblox and um and, and our boyfriend. And your boyfriend, your character is boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Yep. My he has some cereal here in this giant bowl that he's not eating. And we're watching some YouTube. Wow. Want to show him your character? Yeah. Okay. Tell him about it. It's boyfriend with Boxy. Yes. Boxy from Linky Box, which is our favorite. Huh. No, you can't go there. I break it. See? You have to tap it when you break it. Where do you go? Uh, you find the blocks? No. You go through here. And this is you. No, it's just blocks. Okay. 
this though. The Lord Boy Hot. And stay away from the baby. Oh, I know how to do this, mommy. You wanna do it? Mm -hmm. oh. Easy peasy as a spoon. <laughs> So it's now about lunchtime. Um, I'm gonna make some broccoli and some noodles or just broccoli. I just feel like I need some kind of um, something light. Cause I'm not super hungry, but I know I need to eat something. Um, but I figured I would show you guys since I'm stuck in the house, some of my favorite um, vegan options that I always buy at the grocery store. Yeah, baby. I don't have Roblox money. Just a second. Just a second. So I'm going to go through some of my favorite um, vegan things that I have in the house right now because I do need to go grocery shopping. But I pretty much for the most part have everything that I normally do have. So so these are my main condiments here this guacamole salsa is really good um and this ghost pepper hot sauce is amazing they have a habanero one too that i also really like i'm just not i don't have any of it this is one of my favorite ranch um probably is my favorite ranch it's the simple truth brand from kroger and honestly, I like a lot of their vegan stuff. So that's mostly where I grocery shop now. Um, these are the eggs eggs that I use for scrambles. Um, this is my favorite mayo. And I always mix that with sriracha whenever I have like vegan sushi. And it's so good. This is one of my favorite um, cheeses for like grilled cheese. Or something that I need to melt really good. The Simple Truth is um, a good option for cheese whenever I go to Kroger. However, my favorite cheese is Vivin. Um, it's like a spicy cheese that I get at Sprouts. I just don't have any right now, but that one's definitely my favorite. These are my favorite sauces. The original. Mommy! What, baby? I, I want you to have money. You have to wait go watch your show this original one is what I use to kind of replace sour cream it doesn't taste like sour cream but for me the flavor is like mild and has that same sort of like bite to it so I use that in place on like tacos and condiments um, I haven't tried it in recipes though and then this one the chipotle flavor is just really good and Hummus. Usually I just buy the Kroger brand hummus. Um, just the original, but they were out, so I just got this one. This is the cream cheese that I buy. It's also from the Kroger brand. Um, this is kind of the texture looks like. And mainly, I don't eat it plain. I always put a like hot red pepper jelly with it, and it's good on crackers. This is my favorite butter, the Earth Balance. It's really good. And it cooks really well. I've baked with it. I cook with it and everything. My oat milk is Planet Oat. And it's good. Um, sometimes I cook with it. Sometimes I do cashew milk instead. Like if I'm making mashed potatoes, I think cashew milk tastes better with that and with gravy. This is the creamer I've been liking lately. It's just the sweet cream flavor from Kroger. I like it. It's like four, it was like 470 for 32 ounces. Um, that's the one thing that's hard is to find a, cre a creamer that's not very expensive, that's vegan. Mac and cheese. I like this one and I like the um, Annie's one. Um, it's really good. This is one of my favorite meat brands, the meat alternative. This is just ground beef. This is meatballs. And then usually I buy chicken nuggets, chicken strips, um, or chicken patties. And tortilla chips. 
and popcorn. This one has kind of mixed um, reviews on whether it's vegan or not. And it says may contain milk, but whenever I look it up on the Is It Vegan app, it actually doesn't say anything about that. So, like I just looked it up for this purpose, but it's just these three ingredients. So, I trust it. Um, and I haven't felt like I've had any response to dairy whenever I eat it, so. I, I don't have any complaints with it. And then of course I always buy fruits, vegetables, um, pastas, rice, but those ones are so easy to find. Um, so I'm not gonna show everything that I keep in my fridge. Um, of course I have stuff for salads. Um, I don't have my crouton bag or else I would show you guys the croutons that I buy because it is really hard to find vegan croutons. Usually I have to go to Sprouts or um, I do find some at Kroger and it's like an organic brand. They look more like a wheat flavor, um, like darker color, and they're not seasoned. Um, it's just like whole grain. But my favorite ones are from Sprouts. I just, I don't keep the bags. I just keep them in a, an airtight um, container. But pretty much the cheese, the condiments, milk and creamer alternatives and a couple snacks is what i wanted to show because i feel like that's one of the hardest things whenever you are trying out everything is trying out vegan options or alternatives is condiments because it takes a while to go through them and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on something like ranch and then you don't even end up liking it i've tried many many ranch brands um there are other good ones the hidden valley one that they just came out with is good but i like the chipotle pepper one the best because my favorite ranch before being vegan was this one the tesame's habanero ranch um unfortunately it has egg in it so i can't um, eat that but it is whole 30 it's um, gluten-free dairy-free sugar-free and safer keto diet it just has eggs in it so that's the one bummer um, but I keep that in the house still but I don't eat it so and then the other thing I was talking about was the hot pepper jelly and you could find these anywhere that's just a Target brand one but yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good start if you wanted to just swap out a couple things because obviously your cheese, your eggs, and your milk is going to be the hardest staples to replace in your kitchen whenever it comes to cooking. And I know in my last, uh, one of my last videos, I showed the vegan protein bar that I just found that I'm really liking the power core bars those are great and of course the no cow bars are also really good um protein based bars that you can find i don't have my protein powder here i keep that at the office um i also would show you guys that but if you guys want to see more vegan grocery shopping um let me know maybe i could do a grocery haul next time i actually go shopping and have everything completely stocked and also if there is any favorites that you guys have for um vegan options snacks anything let me know in the comments and i would really be interested in trying that out okay so i just finished my noodles and broccoli I already have my two meatballs, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Add a little bit of butter. Okay, and here is the end result. So I just finished making lunch. Now I'm going to make a cup of coffee because I am so tired um, from staying up with Kanan last night and I just feel like death from my allergies. Um, so my favorite coffee lately has been this Guatemalan blend from Kroger. 
it's very strong. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, so I am dying for my allergies. Oh, Gary, I feel horrible. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding, Gary? I've got the suds, no doubt about it. I took some um, Zyrtec and some Flonase, and I tried to take a nap. Caden's feeling a little bit better, but he's still gonna stay home from school tomorrow since he's been taking uh, medicine all day and has not actually been fever free on his own so we are going to hang out on the couch and play some games and maybe take a nap so i will see you guys in my next video okay love you bye